Google, and Instagram. Foursquare, Twitter, Omegle, Vine, Origins, Flickr, YouTube, Twitter, and Steam, Classmates, and Tumblr. Kids today are digital natives. And what that means is that they've grown up with the technology from a very young age. And what that makes us on the flip side is digital immigrants. So we can pick up the language, but we're never going to quite understand it the same way that they do. And what that does is it creates a digital divide, which is what parents are experiencing. What we need to be aware of as parents and caregivers is that they are constantly two steps, if not five steps ahead of us with using the technology. Oftentimes they're doing more than we realize in that world and oftentimes might actually put themselves in positions of getting in over their head. I use Snapchat, Kick, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Pinterest. I have like 400 friends on like Instagram. 375 followers. On Facebook, we have a thousand. 600 friends. Instagram, about 700. Snapchat, Instagram. I have between six and 700 friends on Facebook. I have like 1,400 followers on Instagram. Kick, Talk Life, 800 on Twitter. Talk Life is a, another social media that you post something that's upsetting you in your life, and people just comment and usually help you. I'm a middle school teacher. Between the two schools with which I've worked, is that about 25% of these students, and these are seventh graders, have stated they have gone and met somebody whom they first met online. I do not know all my friends on Facebook. I don't know all my followers. Even if the child tells the parents that they're in a math and science chat room, that they're talking with other students about particular problems and issues that they're having, they really don't know who they're talking to, who's at the other end of the computer. Where do you think predators go to find children? Where children are going to be? My seven-year-old daughter plays something called Bakery Story on an iPad. I looked at that app. Bakery Story has a message board and my seven-year-old daughter has received messages from other people who play Bakery Story. Do you understand? Today's job market, especially you know, over the last five years, have become very competitive. Employees are looking for how candidates outshine other candidates. You'd be very surprised what people have online or the pictures that they have online or where their name is tagged to somebody else's Facebook online. That can very much affect their employment. I get online like every hour. Every hour of the day, three hours a day, like 10 minutes of the hour every day. I start using social media at about 6.30 in the morning. Last year, the average teen girl sent and received 156 texts a day, a day. And that's just an average. Some are in the 300s. If this is the reality of their world, this is the world that they're growing up in, they'll be working in, it's technology everywhere. How do you advocate for them? What do you do to help them have the skills when they're confronted with problems or issues to know how to handle it? 